Let's all stand. And we're so grateful to have you join us this Sunday afternoon to praise the Lord. So let us rejoice for this is the day that the Lord has made. So let our hearts. Let our hearts just overflow with gratitude as we lift our voices in praises and worship. Amen. That's right. Put your hands together for Jesus. There's a light that shines with hope and grace fills the sky. With your mercy each day we're alive. Let your glory pour out, Jesus. There's a joy that overwhelms our souls because we know our God is in control. Overflow, let your favor pour out. That shines with hope and grace fills the sky. With your mercy each day we're alive. Let your glory pour out, Jesus. There's a joy that overwhelms our souls. We know our God is in control. Overflow, let your favor pour out. day that you have graciously, Lord, bestowed upon us. 
And God, it is a joy knowing, Lord, that you are in control, Lord, oh God. That no matter how challenging life can be sometimes, oh God, we know, Lord, that you are with us. Lord, just keep teaching us, oh Lord, to hold on to you, Lord. That even when we are in that valley sometimes, Lord, we know, oh God, you will draw us closer to you, Lord. And allow us, Lord, just to learn to worship you even when we are at the lowest point of our lives.
worship, to sing the song of ages to the Lamb. And all who've gone before us, and all who will believe, will sing the song of ages to the Lamb. Your name is the highest, your name is the greatest, your name stands above them all. All thrones and dominions, all powers and positions, your name stands above them all. All the angels cry.
mention of your name. Oh, will you shout his name? His name is Jesus. Jesus.
God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, our voices may stop, oh God, but Lord, let our hearts, our, the spirit within us, oh God, keeps worshiping you, Lord, keep desiring you more, Lord, oh God, so that when we, Lord, oh God, go out of this building and start the new week, Lord, oh God, it will be just fine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Indeed, God, that this is the day that you have made, and we rejoice and be glad in it. And everyone would say, Amen. 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 All right. Why don't you greet the person beside you to the left and right and say hello to everyone? so much worship team for that very powerful worship amen good afternoon champions good afternoon it's so good to see everyone here especially after such a renewing redeeming encounter weekend let's just praise the lord for what happened and what transpired over the encounter Week and of course we welcome everyone here and for those who are watching us online hello and welcome let us know where you're watching from comment down below and you can continue to share this broadcast to your family and friends all right and if um if it's your first time here or if you have been coming uh, for the past few weeks there is a uh, if you look at the chair pocket in front of you, there's a little, this is your sign card. And that is for you. You are welcome to keep that card to know more about us and um, more information about uh, CLC. Of course, um, we believe here in CLC that genuine relationships are built not only here in the sanctuary, but also over a cup of coffee or tea if you're not into coffee. So um, after the celebration, we invite everyone to proceed to the coffee lounge and the fellowship hall immediately so we could get to know you better. It's a great way to not just meet new people, but also, you know, catch up with your friends. How was your week kind of thing? So enjoy the time of fellowship and connection as you share a cup of coffee or tea on us. And of course, here at CLC, there are many ways to be a part of the church community, right? So first of all, we want to remind everyone to continue joining your life groups. Life groups is the best way to stay connected, not just with each other, but with the Lord, right? And grow in your spiritual walk. So if you're here and you don't have a life group yet, you can approach us. We would gladly assist you in finding the right life group for you. And if you're watching us online, and if you don't have a life group, you can simply comment down below if you want, and our chat hosts will gladly assist you and connect with you virtually and assisting you in finding the right life group for you. Of course, for our uh, kids, we have our champion kids at Sundays here at uh, church at 3 o'clock p.m., just after the worship portion of our celebration. And for our youth, we have our weekly zeal meetings every Fridays at 7.30 p.m. Now, the locations vary, so give us a follow at zealym on Instagram for more information. Of course, CLC is your family. If you need prayer, we would love to pray for you. You can visit our website and fill out a form, a prayer request form. But, of course, the best way, right, to pray is together. So we invite everyone to come to our Hour of Power every Wednesdays. Yeah, every Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. It's just one hour, but it's full of um power and prayer and connection, right, as a church together. And for more of our announcements, next week, March 
3, 2024, after our Sunday celebration, we will be having our SOCAM. It's a state of the church annual meeting. Yes, and that is uh, after the, the celebration. So we invite all the members of CLC Scarborough to please stay. And the week after that, March 8, 2024, we will soak in the presence of the Lord for our soaking night. Yeah, so we invite your friends and family. It's a powerful night of just soaking in the presence of the Spirit as you've already had a taste um, yesterday encounter if you were there. So come to our soaking night March 8, 2024 at 7.30 p.m. More details to follow. And of course, for our newcomers here and our international students and um, anyone who is interested in general, on March 16, 2024, we have an immigration seminar uh, here at the sanctuary as well from 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. More details will follow uh, for that event. And of course, for our little kids, we have our Easter egg extravaganza on March 30, Saturday, here at Warden in the basement. It's going to be from 11 o'clock to 1 p.m. There's going to be games, music, and sweets, right? Just for that day, for our uh, little kids. This is going to be a drop-off event. So parents, if you're planning on a date, plan it on this day. Drop off your kids and pick them up right after as um, they will have lots of fun and, of course, knowing what Easter is going to be for them, right? And the admissions for this event, you just have to bring a bag of nut-free treats. So again, the admission, you don't have to pay for anything. You just need to bring a bag of nut-free treats. Amen? All right. And lastly, um, follow us on our social media accounts as this is the best way to stay connected to the CLC Scarborough family. And right now it is offering time. We thank you so much for your continued obedience to the Lord and in support of our mission to spread the good news of the gospel. And with that, there are many ways to give. You can text to give. You can give through our website. You can e-transfer your giving. And you can also um, give through our mobile app now. Just please make sure to select the location of the campus that you are giving to. Are you blessed, church? Amen. Let's just pray for our offerings right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father, for everything that you own, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for giving us our jobs, Lord God, for providing for us, Father. And now, Father, with cheerful hearts, Father, we give back to you what is rightfully yours. Lord, may you use this, Father, to continue and spread your kingdom and further your kingdom here in Scarborough and however that you want to use it, Father. So we glorify your name. We praise you, Lord God. We love you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We went to the benediction. We had a wonderful experience yesterday. And we're not going to end the celebration, um, to miss the celebration of what transpired yesterday. And we have actually four. Uh, individuals right now who will uh, be sharing. Yep. We had a great and blessed time during our Encounter God weekend from Friday and Saturday. And we had the privilege of hearing from uh, the inv individual who recently attended that encounter with God, right? Um, and I know they had a powerful and wonderful experience. And uh, they've been preparing themselves in praying about it, ready to share their testimony with us, and let's welcome them with a warm round of applause as I call them their name. It takes humility for them to stand up here, right? And I call Hannah G, Faith Aswigi, Matthew Cabrera, Maynard Evangelista. A gentleman over here no? <laughs> mostly they want ladies first right but it takes a lot of courage before you know you wanna all right uh, good afternoon
after the champions uh, and later <clears throat> what a great weekend experience uh, first of all I want to say thank you to the Lord for the opportunities that has unfolded for me it was indeed a wonderful experience the four of us here are to testify how great our God is how he moved in us how he changed the way we see things we are here to encourage everyone to come and experience the Encounter God Weekend. It doesn't matter how many times you've been attended it already. As for me, this is my second time. And it is, it will hit you differently every time. Remember that every year we have different struggles, different battles in life. So for me, this encounter is a different experience compared to last year's. I thought at first as I then tells us be still and know I am God champions God knows what he is doing and in Mark 12 verse 30 commands us to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength he wants it all not 50% not 99.99% he wants it all, everything. Surrender it all to God. If God is for us, who can be against us? As I end, I just want to say, I'm no longer <laughs> slaves to fear. I am a child of God. All right, everybody, everybody let's declare it. Sing with me. I'm no longer slaves to fear. I am a child of God. Thank you. for a year now <laughs> and so for my testimony it was actually my first time participating the encounter God weekend and the biggest feeling that I felt after the events honestly it was really tired <laughs> but at the same time I feel very relaxed and I'm peaceful in my heart during the events, we have to um, have a list of scenes regarding each section, and then we have to check out the scenes that we or our family had or ha and committed have committed. So it reminds me in a Bible phrase in Matthew chapter 6, 33 to 34. It says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, because for tomorrow it will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So during the events, I was able to put down all the burdens, regrets, pain, suffering in my life, and then give it all to Almighty God. What I deeply realized is that um, God loves us so much, and even with all our imperfections. 
God's love is unconditional, and you know you can give it, give your all to Him, and then He will take it all. So after a year working with Jesus, I can tell my faith and my connection has gone deeper and stronger. And I also want to tell that the prayers and guidance from my leaders and friends, as well as um, Tito G, Pastor Albert, <laughs> has taken care of me a lot. And um, I hope to continue to grow in my walk with the Lord and in the coming years of my life. Thank you, everyone. saying that um, I'm grateful to get to experience the Lord these past days through the encounter God weekend. Um, this is actually my second time. My first time was um, in Vancouver, where I'm originally from. Um, that said, I have few expectations in mind on how it's going to go, but God humbled me. Um, I learned that our expectations doesn't really amount to God's expectations. He goes beyond what we can imagine. Um, I've been in Toronto for six months now to study nursing. And to be honest, um, sorry. Uh, these past weeks, um, I've been feeling so homesick. It's making me want to isolate myself. <laughs> um, Three days before the encounter, I'm already trying to come up with excuses, so I have a reason to attend only either on Friday or just a Saturday. Um, but the Lord knows that I needed to be there, so I'm thankful that He did not let me miss out on such an experience. Um, God used this experience to remind me that though I might be sad, even though I'm not with my family and friends, I am not alone. Um, not only did the Lord remind me of my purpose in coming here, but he also showed me the things that I wasn't able to surrender to the Lord during my first encounter because of the shame, guilt, and doubt. Um, this made it too hard to acknowledge that I can be forgiven. But through this encounter, I was able to let go. The encounter reminded me deeply once again that it still is hard to comprehend how the Lord loves me unconditionally. But it's through His incomprehensible love that I can be in this. And so I want to end with a verse. Um, this verse has been impressed by me in my current season. It is 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. It says that, But He said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest one may rest on me. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Matthew. Hallelujah, amen. So before uh, coming to CLC, I would like to say I have a real heart for God. But the fire probably has not ignited fully yet. Ignite fully yet. I was invited by my brother, Arky and Menard to attend the Sunday celebration last year and that day my life was changed. Um, and I had Thank you for your lives. 
I was early last year when I started my walk with the Lord again. Soon enough, my faith was tested. We were driving home from work when suddenly half of my face fell and become numb. I was scared. I was rushed to emergency and make the story short. I was diagnosed with Bruce palsy. You know, I'm really amazed with how God works on just in my life, but in my wife too. I see how she become dependent to the Lord. I see her pray. We pray together. She's not embarrassed to ask people to pray for me. Those people we have just met in the church would call to pray for me and would send encouraging message. Imagine, I just met them, but they were so genuine and lovely. I see God in them. Yet, I was still so mad, frustrated, and started questioning God. God, why me? I'm a good person. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm saying I'm always thinking about what I'm going to do before I do it. And I started having a I started having a relationship with him and that's happened. I was so blinded about my situation. What made me more devastated was being told that there are no medication for my for, for what's happening here. And then they say only time, maybe months, years, I don't know. And then the line for the appointment for the at night I feel hopeless because of my situation and I started to hate and doubt God and yet my wife my family my friends never stopped praying for me they would even pray for me during hour of power before I knew it and then even get an appointment with the neurologist the Lord has already healed me God. God, you saved me. <laughs> Friends, I just want to say and to let you know that prayer works and I am a living testimony of it. An advice I'd like to add is that pray for your friends because there are battles our friends go through that they do not have the courage to cross. Going back to my encounter experience, I've been through from one battle to another. I started to become a lukewarm Christian that I've been trying to fight. These past few months, I've been trying to bring the fire back on me. I listen to uh, worship song, podcast, read Bible, but some of the re- some some reason it's not picking up. I started working on myself. I started eating healthy. We'll wake up early in the morning or we'll go straight from the gym regardless how I tried I was. I will work out. God, however, did not give up on me. He then again picked me up and encounter weekend happened. I felt God say to me, Matthew, when you feel lost, turn to me. Rest on me. I just have been praying to the Lord to fully take over on me. To let the Holy Spirit in and do works on that whatever He has for me. I am here. The Lord is here. The Holy Spirit is here. I came to realize and felt ashamed how I couldn't make sacrifice of working up early, go to, to, to the gym straight, and from work to work, physical being, but would not go out on my way to put time with God, to priority work on my spiritual well-being. When the altar call still came, without a doubt, I ran to the front. I just wanted to worship, and in the midst of it, I had an encounter with God in a way. I can't really describe. It feels like the power of God hit me, and every single baggage I was carrying on my body, my heart feels so much peace. 
without a shadow of doubt, I knew it was really God, and I was safe to let go all my con- to all my control and surrender to Him. I needed God. We all needed God in our life. I am standing here in front of you to show that God is not an illusion, but the most beautiful reality there is. The Lord used me in all my weaknesses. I was lost in sin, darkness, rebellion, and hatred. But love, but, but He loves me. <laughs> he knew my heart. He knew my deepest hidden cry for Him. He knew me before I knew myself, and He brought me back to Him. I long to see how many others discover Him as well. I hope this testimony of mine will be a tool in the hands of Jesus Christ to bring His rivers of love and goodness in your life and lives on others. It is my desire that you will also have a personal encounter with God that will set your heart on fire. So, I encourage everyone, if you haven't yet, join us next year for the encounter God bless everyone. Again, um, wow, thank you. Thank you for uh, that testimony. And again, it takes a lot of humility in, you know, um, standing here in, in front of the congregation. And um, again and again, I've been saying this that we've been experiencing and seeing the movement of God in the lives of His people. We had heard the wonderful preaching and now we're hearing wonderful testimony. And on top of that, there's a bonus that He already promoted next year, Encounter, right? And if you happen to miss the Encounter this year, again, it was already been announced for next year. Um, Prepare yourself even from now that because God will, you know, you can encounter God anytime, right? All you need to do is thirst for Him. Embrace the invitation when He said, come. Right? And um, ask for it. And uh, again, it's indeed a blessing for these wonderful people. And uh, let's extend our hands uh, so we can pray blessing. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank You for Your love, O Lord, that You have poured out to this wonderful creation of yours, O Lord. This wonderful life, O Lord, standing here, O Lord, with humility and love. Lord, we thank you for the things that transpired, O Lord, in their lives, O Lord, and to the lives of other people, O Lord, who attended our encounter. Lord, thank you that they have seen how you work and how you have transformed and restored them, O Lord. Lord, thank you that you have allowed them, O Lord, to embrace the things that you have offered them, your love, your faithfulness, and allowing them, O Lord, our God, to continue walking, O Lord, and and going to that journey of wholeness towards maturity. Lord, we are here standing, O Lord, lifting them up before you, O Lord, as a congregation, O Lord, and we will lift them in prayers, O Lord, that you will continue to bring encouragement to allow them, O Lord, to be encouraged, to allow them to receive your strength so that they continue, O Lord our God, to receive that empowerment, Father. Thank you for their lives as they continue to journey, O Lord, on their day-to-day. May you continue to allow them to encounter you daily in their life. Use them, O Lord our God, as as, as you have used them today as a beacon of light Raising that banner of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Pointing many, O oh Lord, towards the cross. As you have saved them, as you have restored them. Lord, thank you for their life. We are indeed blessed. And we are love them so much. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Again, God bless you. Thank you for that wonderful testimony. And for the rest of us, please stand as we um, pray for our benediction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hi, God.
Indeed, you are wonder, wonderful, O oh Lord. Thank you for the things that you've been doing in this church. Thank you, Lord, for the people, O oh Lord, you are, that you have kept on bringing, O oh Lord, in this church to be restored, to receive your love. And Lord, as we end our celebration this afternoon, may the Lord bless and keep you. May his radiant face shine upon you, extending boundless grace. May his countenance be lifted upon you, granting you peace beyond measure. And may the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit envelope us in their love and fellowship. And as you go forth from this place, know that you are blessed to be a blessing, sharing the love and grace of the Lord wherever you go. And all these things we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless everyone and have a wonderful Sunday. See you again next week.